guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lexi. And Austin. It is 8.30 in the morning. Last week we were still trying to find a PCP. There was like no places that had like the ultrasound technology that I could go to that wasn't the ER. Austin's friend actually came in so clutch. He works at NYU Hospital and he calls me literally last week. And he's like, listen, I spoke to my boss. I fit you into the schedule and we could get you in here on Monday. She's one of the top breast surgeons here in America. Literally top 50, top five in New York. And we're really heading there right now to get the ultrasound. So thank you, Richard. We are so fortunate that you were able to do this for us. This is like, I, I can't even thank you enough. Before going in right now, how do you feel? Cold. Besides that? I'm a little nervous. But you know everything's gonna be okay. No. We just checked in. Lucky's filling out the paperwork right now. Are you doing okay, baby? Am I currently breastfeeding? No. Lexi just left me. She went into the imaging room. I know everything's gonna be okay, but I can imagine the anxiety and trust she's probably under right now. I'm like, what? I hope she's doing okay. I hope she's too bad than me. I'm in the ultrasound room. She just did it. I guess these are the pictures. This is the machine. Oh my god. This was like, I I'm I was actually terrified to get in this bed. So she said that she it's just gonna take like a minute. She's going to give those pictures to the doctor that she works with and she's going to evaluate. She just said that she doesn't really know. She looked at me and she said, between you and I, like, I think you're okay, which is great. But she said, like, I, I see why you were you were stressed and you were uncomfortable. It's been like 20 minutes since Lexi went in. I have not heard from her. I have no information, but I got this Snapchat selfie. It's a thumbs up, so I'm hoping that's a good sign. This just says follow up with your doctor, okay? Oh my gosh. To the end to make a left and you don't have to stop at the front for anything. Happy holidays. Thank Be you well. so much, you too. ultrasound gel in my hair. So you gotta give me a step-by-step -step process of like what happened. Cause like, I don't know how an ultrasound works. Would you like to see the results? I kind of want to hear what happened first. Or should I read this first? You can read that first. So it came back benign, everything is okay, but did they tell you exactly what it is? Fibrocystic breast disease. So what did they tell you is gonna happen from here on out? They just said there's nothing you can do, it's just you gotta deal with it and then it'll eventually go away. Walk me through exactly what happened. So they took me to the back room, I undressed, I had to put one of those like the pink gown on. There's that big machine in there, that big scary machine with all the buttons. I, 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 <laughs> I have no idea. I lay down on the table, she pops a titty out. <laughs> you know how you always hear like in the movies, like when the gel is put on, they're like, ooh, cold. Was it cold? No, it was warm. Really? It was really, really warm, like hot. I was like, oh, like I usually hear like it's really cold. And she's like, yeah, we like to spoil our patients here. I know the machine itself doesn't hurt. The way that she was moving it hurt so bad. Like on the lump? Yes, so bad. So she was like, like just putting too much. It was like she had to push down and like dig into like all the places and stuff. Oh, to get like the full picture. Yeah, to get like all around. She was like, like just like pushing and like it just hurt so bad. It also scared me because she just was like so quiet. This is my first ultrasound, right? Like I, she wasn't very communicative of what was happening. The way that she was making it seem, it, it felt like there was something wrong. So for now, them now, like what was the actual result of it? The doctor walked in and she said, you are okay. I th There's no cause for concern. It's just fibrocystic breast tissue. That's what I, I misspoke last time. I said fibroid. It's called a fibrocyst. It is checked off in the statement. My mammogram slash sonogram is normal slash benign. Did she give you any like recommendations of how to take care there of it? There's nothing. All? There's nothing I can do. Not a single thing. That I think is the one part that kind of sucks. It's just there until like my stress balances out, my hormones balance out. Like it's, it's, it's just there. It could get bigger. It could go away. I could have it for the rest of my life. It's just there. 
that's the one thing that sucks. What? I'm sorry. But you're okay though. You're gonna be okay. And I think that's the important thing. That At is the end the of this. Thing. It's been a very, very stressful last two months for us, but like, and we apologize to you guys also, like the fact that this all happened within a week. But I think at the end of the day, we're just fortunate that like, we were able to get the answers so quickly. The weight that has been lifted off of my shoulders, like I feel like a reason why it was getting like so painful and like a lot bigger is because I was literally stressing about it. I can't it's imagine. so painful. I literally can't imagine what was going through your head all this oh time. Oh my God, I was sitting, when I was sitting, and she was doing it and it just hurt so bad. I was like so convinced that there was going to be something wrong with me. I was like, this just, and I, like I started to cry a little bit. Like the tears like started forming. And I remember she was like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah. I mean like also last night I saw you didn't sleep over it. I know. I, I saw like, she, I was up until like 3 a.m. She kept, I just like couldn't. She kept telling me all night. She's like, I'm okay, go to bed, go to bed. I'm like, I'm saying, I'm like, no, like I know you. I, I, I see it in you. But now you could rest easy tonight. I will get you some Taco Bell right now. On most occasions, like Austin can tell you, like I'm, I'm generally a very closed off person, but I love doing what we do and doing what we do comes with this kind of stuff. And even though this was kind of like a really hard situation to break the ice with, I feel like it's like go big or go home, kind of like a bad joke to it's make in this situation. <laughs> but if for me and how I am, doing something as serious as this and being open with them about it, like really made me feel so much better about opening up to them just about the little things it's really and just good. being more in tune with my emotions. I'm gonna say it, in tune with my emotions. You don't know how happy that made me. <laughs> so thank you guys. Ah, the camera's been falling this entire oh. time. <laughs> So before we go, I actually, I really do need to thank you guys. I couldn't have asked for a better community to just like help keep me sane and remind me that like I do have you guys to support me. I love you guys so much. I really, I can't express it. I want to, I want to grab all of you and just. Hey guys, so it's the next day. After we finished filming yesterday, we realized before I shoot an outro, we kind of just got back to the hotel and took a full 24 hour nap. I call it the celebratory nap. How are you feeling today, baby? knowing that everything is finally okay. I'm actually, I'm so happy that I'm okay, but I'm in so much pain. She manhandled my boob. You know, are you okay? Are you okay? I wish that they had just told me that it was going to be so Sore um, invasive. You know what oh. I mean? Like I wish they were just like, this is gonna it's happen. It's fine, everything's good. That's all that matters, is that you're okay at the end of the day. I am okay. For the last time, maybe, probably not. Thank you guys. It's time to go home and get you in your own cozy bed. We're gonna head back to Boston now, guys. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you on Friday. That's a wrap.